Okay, I want to make a series of microphones. I want to make as many microphones as I can. So I'm going to start today with the stuff you see here. I'm going to make a microphone. This is technically called a dynamic microphone, uh, but let me let me explain how it works because this one I think makes the most sense to make. So if I have a coil of wire like this, it's not touching. Okay, there's my wire, and then I have a magnet. When the magnet moves into a coil, when you have a changing magnetic field in a coil, it induces a, a voltage. Okay, And so with that voltage, you would get a current. So if you hook this up to uh, an earphone jack for a computer or something like that, you can record it. And so that's, we're gonna, that's a microphone, right? I'm going to just have sound make this move. And when this moves in and out, it generates an electric current. Record that, boom, electric microphone. Okay. So I forgot my thing over here. Sorry, I forgot one of my, my pieces. And, and let's just start with the first piece that we have here. And that is, uh, let's, let's build this part first. We've got a couple things to build. So, and you don't even need any serious tools. Uh, I'm going to use my MacGyver knife right here. And they cut that off. And this is a, um, a stereo jack. I took this off of a set of old computer speakers and I cut it. And so that's the first thing. How do we hook this up to a computer? I need this part to hook up my microphone. So I'm going to take, I'm actually going to strip both of these. So I'm going to take this. To strip this wire, you could do it a, a, with a fancy way, but I'm just going to use uh, some scissors and kind of etch around the rubber, right? Like that. And then if I do that well enough, then I can get it through and I can just pull off this plastic with my thumb. And I didn't do it. But if you cut too far, you'll cut into the actual wire and you don't want to do that. There, see, I've got that. Can you see? There you go. Now inside of here, I actually have two wires. This one red wire I want and then this other wire right here. Um, this is a stereo microphone, so I'm going to twist that together. This is a stereo microphone, so it actually has two sets of wires. I'm going to actually use both of them. So let's get all those bare wires together, wrap that up. Now I'm going to strip this wire. This one's really thin, so be careful. There you go. Got it. And I'm going to twist that one. Now I'm going to do the same thing to this other wire over here. All the way around. It's tricky because you don't want to, you know, you don't want to do this too much and actually destroy the wire. Brute force works. If you get a hold on it, you can actually just pull. I almost got it. Let's just cut a little bit right here. And they make wire strippers, um, but that's not what the MacGyver would do, right? So here I have that. Now I'm going to twist those together. And then I'm going to strip this white wire. So the, here you have one is for the left ear. These are for uh, stereo speakers, one for the left side and one for the right side. But what I'm going to do is take the two bare copper wires and twist them together. Like that. And then take these two wires and twist them together. So I'm going to turn my microphone into a stereo. It's going to record to both channels the same thing. Okay, so now I just need to plug this in. I'm going to be plugging this into uh, a, a USB device like this. This has line in and line out. Um, it's really cheap, and, and that way you're, you're sure you're not going to break your device. So I'm going to put this on the end, and then I'm going to plug this into the computer. Okay, so now for the microphone. Uh, I need to take a coil of wire. Now here are three different types of wire that you could use. This is bare copper wire. There's nothing on it. You cannot use this. If you make this into a loop, when it touches itself, the electric current will take a shortcut and go through the shortest path and will not go in a loop. We need to make a many, many loops in order to increase the strength of the magnet uh, interaction. Here's another one. This is what you would think of as normal wire. This will work. Okay, but it doesn't work super well because once I start wrapping it, it takes it's bulky, and uh, if you can make it work with this, okay, if this is what you have, you can make it work. But that's not the best thing to use. I'm going to use this. This is called magnet wire. 
Can you see that? It has um, it's gr this green enamel painted on it. So that means it does have a coating, but it's really thin so I can wrap it up really well. Uh, so you can get this at, uh, if you have a Radio Shack that exists still, you could get this. Um, if you do not have a Radio Shack, uh, hardware stores will probably have this. Uh, Hobby Lobby has this. Uh, you can order it online. So what I want to do is make a coil of wire to act as my, as my pickup. And so I'm going to take this. And I want to wrap it around something. I'm going to use this marker. And I just want to wrap it around. So I'm just going to start. I'm going to leave a lot on the end so that I have left over. I'm just going to wrap this up. I want to make it nice and tight, but not too tight that I can't get it off. And, you know, it, it, you can make it nice and neat. Some people say, oh, it should be all neat and straight. But just make it. And, and the more turns, the better. But if it gets too many turns, it'll get too heavy and it won't move very well. So I'm just going to wrap this around. Um, I think maybe a couple more turns like that. Okay, so now I'm going to I'm going to cut this, and I want to get some tape before I take this off. I'm going to get my tape off, at least something, some tape. I should have torn this beforehand. Okay, so I got some tape. Now when I take it off, I can tape it together so it doesn't get into a giant mess. So I'm just going to slide it off like that and pinch it. Now I'm going to tape it. Um, I, want, I want it to go... I almost lost it right there. Okay, I'm just going to tape it up like this. So there, I've taped it. Next thing I need to do is to... Uh, I want to connect my stereo my input to these things, but they have enamel on them. So I have to scrape off the enamel. Uh, you can burn it off with a, with a candle. Uh, you can scrape it off with, I like to just scrape it off with a knife. So if you just see right there, I don't know if you can see the difference. So one side I have this, the enamel scraped off, but I wanna scrape it off on as many sides as I can. So you can see the bare copper. Just flip it over. You can use sandpaper to do this, um, but I, I find just and there's always one side that like doesn't get, and just kind of do your best. It doesn't have to be off on every single side. Okay, it does not. Most, but it if it is, that's good. I would prefer that it is. So just rotate around till you find some green stuff, and then scrape that green stuff off. Okay, now I need to do the other wire. There's two wires here. Almost done. I'm not taking any shortcuts here. I'm going to do everything for you. Okay, rotating around looks good. Okay. So here's how this is going to work. I have, I'm actually going to use, you need a magnet. I'm going to use this. This is the magnet from an, from an old hard drive. So if you take it apart, it's a pretty good, strong magnet. Uh, so I like that. Um, but, and I think we'll try to start off with that. So the idea is that I want my voice to move this up and down toward that magnet and then connect these to the, uh, the computer to record. And that should record audio, hopefully. Okay, it's not gonna be a great one. Uh, so now I'm just gonna take my two wires and connect it to my uh, stereo jack. So I'm gonna just wrap these up. You don't have to solder it. You can just, if you just twist it tight, okay? Because you want a good connection. So there you go, that's nice and tight. And then do the other one. And you don't want these two wires to touch because I'll short it out and it, you'll get no signal. So I'm wrapping that tight. Okay, now I just need to mount it. I want something that can like catch the sound and, and let it get pushed. And I'm gonna use this. This is a, uh, if you haven't seen one of these, this is a CD, actually, there's a DVD. It's a CD. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mount my I'm gonna stick my coil in this hole as much as I can, and I'm gonna tape it. And 
and I want to keep those wires separate so I'm going to push this down I want a good solid mechanical contact like that now I want to support this I'm going to tape this I'm going to tape these two wires apart because I don't want them to touch each other so. now I want to support this over my magnet so I have here these three Lego pieces and I can just mount this just like that done I just need to record it okay so I'm going to switch over here I'm going to take my USB I'm going to plug it into the computer now to record this uh, since it's not going to be a great signal I'm actually going to use Audacity Audacity is a free app um, and it should work on everything uh, so let's see I have it open right here let's see the first thing I want to do is to make sure my I'm going to change my input source to this iMic USB audio system uh, other than that I should be ready to record so I'm going to record and then we're going to analyze it and play it back hopefully everything will work if it doesn't I'll be disappointed so I'm going to I'm going to get down oh I moved it I'm going to get down close to this and talk let me move this I want it sitting on there just nice I'm going to talk on that, record it, and then play it back. So here we go. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so now over here on my system, I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is increase the gain. Uh, and let's just play it back and see if we can hear it. Turn up the volume. Turn up the volume. Nothing. Oh, you know what? I know what I know what the problem is. Okay, so let me go to um, uh, to my settings over here. Sound, input. Oh, it is on there. It is getting. Oh, that's on the USB. It's turned all the way down. So I'm going to turn it all the way up, and then I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to try again. Hello, hello, hello. Try it. Oh, I got the gain up. That worked. Okay, so now let me switch this to um, uh, decibel levels. And you can actually see in here the sound. Okay, let's record something else just for fun. Um, actually, I should save that as an MP3, export as MP3, because I want, I want to include that. That's fine. That's fine. I don't know what that setting is. Okay, now um, let's just, no, I think that's good. Let, let me just try, let me try one more time. So I'm going to take this magnet out. I have these tiny neodymium magnets that you can get in a lot of different places. Uh, I'm going to put that right there. Let's just try this. Let's delete that. And now let's record again. Hello, this is the test. that worked okay let's see if I put two of these magnets together maybe that works out a little bit better one more try I'm just excited that it worked that's all this is with two magnets okay okay that one actually worked pretty well let me uh, export that one uh, to save it but there you go this is your very first microphone. Um, let me show you one more quick thing. This is a microphone. This is your normal speaker, but it, it's the same thing, right? This is a coil of wire on a cone with a magnet back there and it does the same thing. You can actually hook this up as a microphone and use it too, but we built one from scratch. So we're going to build some other microphones. Uh, this is the first one to understand though. I uh, hope you enjoy this. Super simple to make. You could try also different things to connect this to. Something, something that's thin and bendable. It's probably thinner than this would work if you had one of those plastic 
uh, disposable plates, like a, not a paper plate, but the, the cheap plastic kind, that would work probably pretty well too. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Hope you enjoy this.